guys welcome again to my youtube channel so today guys i'll be making a full soup guys you can't miss this soup for anything in the world i tell you this soup is going to hit all the taste buds that you never thought you ever had <laughs> okay guys so let's do this so for this recipe, I'm using fresh beef. I'm also using cow leg, um, fresh fish, smoked turkey, our stripes, our body, roughly chopped onion and um, scotch bonnet pepper. I'm using about four scotch bonnet pepper, all pepper seasoning. I'm also using prawns, um, okazi, spinach and um, seasoning okay i'm not going to be using the salt i brought out just because i'm using um salt fish and the salt fish has a lot of salt i already washed it about twice i soaked it with hot water too so i still know it has a little bit of salt in it so for this reason i won't be using salt in this recipe at all because the salt we we'll need will already come from the fish okay guys so i'm also using ogiri the ogiri I, I could find were just um the white ogiri <laughs> guys so in my pot now i'm just going in with a uh, beef the cow leg i'll be putting in the stripes their body and um half of the blended onion half of the blended scotch bonnet pepper a little bit of seasoning or pepper seasoning and we'll allow that to cook until you know water comes out of it and we'll come back to it okay yeah Okay, guys, our beef has been cooking for about one hour, so it's already cooked, like, um, it's not strong anymore. Okay, so right here now, we'll start preparing the soup. So, I'm going in with um, palm oil, I'm going in with the remaining crushed um, peppers and onion. Okay, so after that. I'll be going in with our smoked turkey so after which we'll be going in with about two spoons of crayfish you can make a tree <laughs> you can't go wrong with crayfish at all so just put just put your crayfish until your ancestors tell you please please my daughter just stop now okay <laughs> so I'll be going in with two spoons of crayfish okay so after the, after which i'll be going in with my ogre i'll put in also water as well make sure to always stir your food properly 
stir it properly guys everything you put in your food make sure you stir it very well okay so where are you watching from i want to know make sure you subscribe like and comment let me know i'd love to hear from you all make sure you comment on on my videos like and subscribe guys please help this channel <laughs> okay guys so back to the food so i'm going in with the white okay, you see the way it looks this is my last when i bought it the last two weeks from the market i was like what kind of a girl is this i've never seen this in my whole life guys but it doesn't taste bad anyway but i don't know maybe it's not fermented it's just fresh or something i think i think that is that's a problem here so i'm i put in the algeri and i'm just stirring yeah so after which i'll be tasting <laughs> so i'm just giving that about two minutes to boil and then i come back and i put in the offer this is offer that is going into the soup right now you know just to take in the soup a little so i'm using about two to two and a half um tablespoons of a four to cook this pot of soup yeah this is because this offer i find it very very thickening yeah so i don't go in with much as such so this is about two and a half um teaspoons of a four i'm using sorry tablespoons okay i'm using for this pot of soup so after which i'll be putting in my fresh fish yeah so everything is going in right now <laughs> so this is a final process so we're just putting in our fish so just give it a little bit of stir and then we'll close it and come back about 20 15 minutes there about until the soup is properly cooked okay so so we're back the soup is cooked already so i'll just be giving that a stir after which i'll put in my um prawns i'll put in a little bit of crayfish as well and i'll also be putting in uh, okazi after the okazi you want to give it about two minutes then you put in the spinach and guys there you have it i forgot to tell you guys in this soup i put in a secret ingredient yes and that was banga soup spice guys that spice took this soup to another level i just said let me try this and i put in one spoon one teaspoon of banga soup spice and guys it came out so 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 good so good trust me if you have banga spice i don't know the kind of banga spice if they are the same everywhere but if you have that guys just try it in this soup and you will see what i'm saying <laughs> yes guys so that was what i did and this soup was a hit it was a hit back to back back to back <laughs>
a surface properly coat. So I will just be going in to dish it out. Yeah, you can see what it looks like, right? How pretty is this? Guys, just see. Looking all divine, looking all glorious, right? <laughs> okay guys don't forget to cook this soup just write it down write it down do not forget don't miss this soup for any reason guys you can pair it with any swallow of your choice for this right now we'll be using a mala that is what they have at home right now so i'll be going in with a mala for this <laughs> yes it's very soft and nutritional so that is what we use for now you can go in with your bottle of wine as well you can go in with your juice anything just enjoy it anyhow you like it thank you all for watching and god bless you see you in another recipe bye